privileges for prisoners behind bars, but tonight Keiko Guerin tells us about a new one, condoms. It's one thing to get a soda from a vending machine, but a condom? I think it's kind of a uh, strange to be honest. How about a free condom machine in a jail? But not everyone is sold. I'm definitely not comfortable with it being here. I don't believe that it's any, it's any way that we should have a reason to access it. Because of another law, inmates aren't allowed to have sex with one another, even if it's consensual. Well, I think we have to be very careful about sending mixed messages to what is permissible and acceptable behavior. It's better to be safe than not, right? I think it's good, you know, to have it, you know, for those, you know, who prefer to use it. Prison fuck nigga passion, man. Prison fuck nigga passion, man. This how they do up in this bitch. This how they do in here. Yeah, they do it in here. Hi. This is Eric J coming at you with Street News. No, we ain't professional and neither is this story. So look, male prisoners are now issued condoms from a dispensary inside of the prison. According to the rules, sex is not allowed and will not be tolerated. Some inmates say they are not okay with this and some say it's better to be safe than sorry. It's one thing to get a soda from a vending machine, but a condom? I think it's kind of uh, strange, to be honest. How about a free condom machine in a jail? In the next five years, you can expect to see more machines like these distributing condoms in California state prisons. It's an important public health intervention. Free condoms for California prisoners. An intervention new to the state, but not new in San Francisco. Free condoms were handed out to inmates as early as the 80s. At that time already, lots of people dying of AIDS, and particularly in the Sheriff's Department, several deputies had died. It had just been devastating. In fact, state officials reached out to San Francisco's program as a model for the rest of California. The prevalence of HIV and AIDS and hepatitis and STDs is higher in county jails, but we have contained it uh, for some years and we are starting to see the population go down. Sheriff Ross Mercurimi says this new law should have happened years ago. For California, it's long overdue. For the United States, it's way long overdue. But not everyone is sold. I'm definitely not comfortable with it being here. I don't believe that it's any, it's any way that we should have a reason to access it. Because of another law, inmates aren't allowed to have sex with one another, even if it's consensual. Well, I think we have to be very careful about sending mixed messages to what is permissible and acceptable behavior. But the reality is... People do have, you know, sexual intercourse in prison. And illegal or not, other inmates say it's better to acknowledge the reality instead of ignore it. It's better to be safe than not, right? I think it's good, you know, to have it, you know, for those, you know, who prefer to use it. According to the CDC, one in seven people with HIV passes through a correctional facility each year. And in California, more than a thousand prisoners are known to be HIV positive. And Sheriff Mercurimi says this new law will address a bigger picture. And we'll continue to push that envelope and making sure that people see that improving public safety is also about hey! prison fuck nigga passion, man. Prison fuck nigga passion, man. This is how they do up in this bitch. This is how they do in here. Yeah, they do it in here. This is how they do in this bitch, man. Nigga passing, man. Contestant number one. They gave him one. They gave him one. One man. I got both of You gotta do a little extra for that bag now. That bag is supposed to be 398 on top. That bag 398 on top. You gotta do a little more extra. You ain't did that yet. You gotta show us something. Listen, let me ask y'all something. 
If I told y'all selling drugs was bad and then I turned around and supplied y'all with drugs to sell, you would probably be confused. Well, this situation is no different. The rules clearly say inmates cannot have sex. So why are y'all supplying them with condoms for sex? And listen, everybody who have HIV didn't get it from sex. Some people got HIV from sharing needles while doing drugs. Some people got HIV from a blood transfusion. Some people got HIV from their mother doing childbirth. So to say this is the reason you're passing condoms out, that's a lie. In that case, start passing knives out. Yeah, I know fighting ain't allowed, but look, it happens. And being that some inmates are weaker than others, they probably could use the extra leverage. And don't tell me, well, Eric J, inmates ain't allowed to fight. Well, inmates ain't allowed to have sex neither. But that didn't stop y'all from putting a vending machine inside of the dormitory. Listen, y'all, ain't nothing good is going to come from this. Nothing about them passing condoms out to men who haven't been with women in years will turn out to be good. If you don't believe in nothing I say, believe in this. Those condoms will be used. They are gonna be used on other inmates or they are gonna be used on correctional officers, but they will be used. And one more thing, we live in a world where everybody wants to feel included. So what are we going to do for the female inmates? Are we going to pass them out some dildos so they could stop using cucumbers out of the cafeteria? And yes, I know that that's against the rules, but they're female prisoners with HIV too.